and I have yours. Is it Alyssa V. Lucas? Plans not, but I do have a here. Here, try that over. They can't, can you see this plan? <laughs> so much is I have no idea. Michigan AP and us have a history about this one. I'm playing. Yeah. I'm playing. Uh, let me know when. Say hey, like one more thing. Yeah, of course. I'm going to minimize this one story. Makes failed state interventions inevitable, undermines foreign policy, goes over, strikes Corona 13. The AUMF bound to bureaucracy defend the conflict is a war rather than law enforcement. The end of Iraq and Afghanistan is not the end of the war begun in 2001. The smaller operations of the Philippines, the Africa, sustainable strategy, must wait means an end. The alternative is jerk, willy nilly from overspending, underspending, paranoid, and complacency, short term reaction, long term decline, efforts to create a balanced, great strategy across all aspects of U.S. power have fallen, unsupported by the legal establishment of the post 9 11 campaign. Going to war, irrevocably, elders of strategic land say policymakers must end this war, will exhaust U.S. force, distort strategic land, the mind of another threat, second framework of war, termination of the U.S., replace the actual threat. Of the possibility of Al Qaeda unwinding range of blades into the crucial shape of the defense of all parts of the world from an Islamic extremist entity anywhere that supplies the U.S. should fight a global campaign everywhere. A recipe for imperial overstretch of worldwide executive work from the tendency to equip them safe without Qaeda pulling on government quarters into the sphere of influence, such narrow thinking yielded reactionary expeditionary response instead of prioritization according to U.S. interests. This kills U.S. global engagement and trades off with all effective uses of U.S. power, which the absolves must are 14 state building sword to U.S. world, global politics, U.S. labor to unwrite stability in the national system by assembling alliances to protect a friend and destroy. Is by helping structure the global architecture of trade and police in the cons plan. This role well demands attention at all levels of government to sustain their relationship to multilateral cooperation to lead in dangerous that the system will fragment into chaos. The U.S. and the linchpin of key alliances of private leadership for global endeavors as military helps rule out a course of the weak state obsession has drawn attention away and made a resurgence of traditional threats, more likely endless wars and stability operations in order to global engagement and diminish diplomatic creativity. The dozen global issues beyond the war and terrorism begin to sound like background noise. Officials spend more time managing Iraqi politics than relationships with key global powers. Officials have less time to cultivate Rising regional state secondary issues become dominant once a regional powers reserve of strategic and attention is not if the U.S. has become geopolitically out of performance global stabilizing world. The U.S. needs to properly design our forces to fight global threats and enable quick strike capabilities to support local capacity stabilizing to the military in ways that attract these responsibilities, draining billions from the national security resources. None of this is meant to suggest failing states should disappear from the foreign policy to the difference is the priority as weak states generate threats such as terrorism. The U.S. has tools to mitigate them. I can return terrorism to a law enforcement that can work closely with foreign law enforcement. You can train such agencies to lead a global targeted intelligence work. Race and remote strikes now. Leadership souls extinction through cooperation on global issues. Decline equals nuclear war. Brooks, I can vary. Wolf War 13. Engagement reduces the risk of dangerous conflict. U.S. security commands in Turkey to Washington, the United Asia, Japan, and South Korea would go nuclear risk broken. Destabilize the reaction from the United States. Would boost military budgets and start regional wars, all which concern the U.S. regional security. Produce nuclear proliferation powers such as Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan. Build nuclear force commanders to seek arsenals <coughs> things. Yet shaken when there are multiple nuclear arms. Probability of irrational decisions to accidents. I'll foresee Christ goes up by reassuring reality. I can build military relations. Washington, David's camp to prevent a new military capability. Miss the important benefits of sustaining an open global economy, military dominance, undergirds economic leadership, military commitments, and naval superiority, helps secure sea lanes that allow trade to flow with the U.S. to pull back, securing the commons to get much harder to counter terrorism, piracy, organized crime, climate change, and pandemic states have to work together. The U.S. military efforts promotes building leadership, make it easier for the, to join, launch, and join the nation. Cooperation is hard to come by where chaos reigns and foolishness, where leaders can anticipate lessons, build U.S. alliances, provide the framework for cooperation on non military issues. The plan ends the war paradigm of the U.S. Uh, rebalances foreign policy strategy to make a more sustainable current of the U.S. must rebalance being a wars over emphasized military response to Al-Qaeda at the expense of non-military means. Decades of experience confirm emphasis on military force and long-term disadvantages. The U.S. must focus on diplomacy and building inner agency at this time to readjust towards a more viable long-term strategy. The government must go from war to consent in the war against Al-Qaeda will help the government better adapt to ongoing global change. The end of this war should bring a strategic shift, which is impossible as long as we are willing to get sucked into local insurgency. The U.S. forces are reacting to short-term threats rather than building a viable global presence. While the government must aggressively counter Al-Qaeda, endless war self-defeating events 
to do with terrorism. U.S. counter-terror fails now. The war paradigm galvanizes jihadist movements and creates new terrorist hubs. Carbon-13, arbitrary detention, torture, and killings tarnish reputation to bolster enemies. Bold act demonstrates not just means to raise moral authority. Military occupation achieved neither reduction in terror levels nor the ideology of jihadism. Jihadism appears to be on the rise worldwide. The splinter groups will have fuel by images of civilian cancer. The U.S. has done nothing to reduce world bank reacting to terrorists as if they have the power to declare war. Legitimizes their behavior in the eyes of the constituents. Uh, tactic involves gaining a powerful actor in this war. Should have sought fighting more clever for terrorist acts. The U.S. war played into these groups' hands by creating a massive civilian death toll and supporting the jihadist propaganda that clearly caused fresh fronts to better state size in Africa and Yemen. Of any operations, maintaining the legal framework of war undermines effective CT. Preble testing the fight against Al Qaeda. This war undermines the launcher of CT. Objective war on terror implies military is the leading instrument. It makes no more sense than declaring a war on kamikazes in 1944. The phrase has the effect of conflating many entities into monolithic the threat. It complicates cooperation and gives legitimacy to terrorists as combatants, referring to a war on terrorism. The effect of the United Zimmer Group to place into terrorist rhetoric that the war, the West, is in a war against Islam. The whole area have adverse long term consequences to reduce the willingness of allies to cooperate and give our war legitimacy and unity to disperse the adversary. This causes radicalization that outweighs any possible benefits of military strategy, makes CT unsustainable in the long term. It's a plan to solve troubles, and goodwill has been significantly less than my collateral damage from military efforts. So the trade off is not between CT and popularity, it's between tactical CT objectives and long term strategic ones. The anti American sentiment impairs CT and affects willingness to cooperate with US CT efforts and the inclination of individual civilians to get out support or even join groups. Negative consequences extend for all the US military force, more likely than other country to be resented. The potential effects on CT and the likelihood of future attacks are substantial. US military forces have done more than anything to sustain Bin Laden's narrative of the the U.S. that is out to kill Muslims, CT is a global enterprise requiring active cooperation, the most important cooperation is from communities in which terrorist organizations recruit new followers. We can prevent the terrorist trap by carefully limiting our responses. Formally ending the war solves terrorism by leveraging U.S. credibility, though it doesn't take any options off the table. Macintosh 13 dropping the framework does not eliminate forces and options. The president has contradictional authority. Dropping the framework returns to the pre-2001 status quo, which treated terrorism as a legal intelligence issue. Shifting from war doesn't preclude moving back to war should events require. Dropping the framework offers a middle ground. It removes the blank check, it would not end strikes. It would, however, alter the presumption that preventative war successful shifting policy opens up alternative strategies for a general threat efforts to address long-term changes of naval terrorism or preclude by strategy of war. Given the history of terrorist campaigns, soft members saw the potential of success ending the war removes the primary means of recruitment and propaganda attack and again, zero drug kind of just white terrorist attacks. Psychological studies of terrorist attacks and slight positive relationship between suffering and those willing to engage in the attack that were made of benefits from the expansive U.S. intervention. But the longer this goes on, the less credibility the U.S. will enjoy and the loss of credibility is directly at odds with long-term soft measures. The plan shifts to a law enforcement approach to solve terrorism better carbon authority and if the U.S. were to shift from the war paradigm, what might a different approach look like? Like the U.S. should rely on a network approach, additional law, law network of uh, Law enforcement networks consistently effectively push back against arms dealers and trafficking, and they can succeed against terrorists. The best CT objectives of the past 10 years have occurred through international coordination of law intelligence and law enforcement, not torture or drugs. Criminal trials can be legitimized violent behavior. The U.S. should assist nonviolent social groups and resist into jihadist ideologies. These groups play an important effective role in marginalizing violent acts in the community. Low level operators should be captured or rehabilitated rather than kill the strategies to see the reduction of terrorism. What contribute to a movement of former jihadist voices challenging jihadist ideology? These strategies prevent and deter criminals from attacking marginalizing ideology. That was not be one of the means used. Continue to undermine the message nuclear terrorism, nuclear terrorism feasible, no barriers and motivation for an attack. 114. Nuclear terrorism remains real and dangerous and threats. Terrorists like it. A nuclear weapon made by a state terrorist could cause a meltdown of nuclear reactor. The danger of nuclear terrorism is driven by terrorists and end terrorist capability and the vulnerability of both nuclear weapons and materials. Al Qaeda and Bomb Shariko seriously saw nuclear weapons in the dose. Despite the death of Bin Laden, there are no grounds for complaints. All key players in Al Qaeda's nuclear program remain alive. And a lot of newer studies concluded terrorist groups could make a bomb. They could get stolen materials. Serious vulnerabilities remain. Security systems not sufficient. Seizures of stolen HEU in 2003. Six 10 and 11 make clear the stocks remain outside regulatory control. Once nuclear facilities left the facility, it could be anywhere. North Korea might fight nuclear weapons and terrorists. No one knows the real likelihood, but the consequences would be so catastrophic that the small chance is enough to justify action to reduce the risk. Extinction to seven nuclear explosives can reduce casualties exceeding 1 million. Even localized nuclear catastrophe would have severe economic consequences. Attacked by a nuclear terrorist could generate casualties comparable to a full scale nuclear exchange and superpower conflict quantities. So it could lift it. Significant climate perturbations. Plan the United States federal government should prohibit public law 107. 740's authorization to use force effective December 31st, 2014 as solvency. Ending the middle armed conflict to ensure soft constraints that cause the best middle ground with by ensuring executive restraint without creating executive constraint. Chesney 13. There are non-legal constraints considered. Consider the domestic political climate formal proclamation recognizing an end to armed conflict with Al-Qaeda would be widely publicized. Not only to us, the continued use of military detention would seem incongruous and congruous action would generate a negative reaction. There would be substantial government officials could be expected to take the medical political consideration would be more constraining than under the status quo. Something similar could be said about diplomatic consideration for the end to armed conflict with Al-Qaeda. Unquestionably, were received in most foreign capitals and the uh, foreign populations of the U.S. government ended up persisting the use of military force for CCD. Diplomatic costs will be higher. Diplomatic pressure will be constrained. 
Constitution War would not increase the bite of soft constraint mechanisms. This could dissuade the executive from employing the full potential of legal force. The unlikely soft constraint mechanisms would dissuade the executive altogether from acting. The government might resort to force left off. And anything short of clean repeal doesn't solve the AF problem. Thirteen, the war should end, not just factually but legally. Repeal the AUMF legislation. Some said the AUMF once combat operations concluded at the end of 2014. If the president needs greater war powers, they can ask for specific limited authorities. While the AUMF could be altered, a clean repeal is significant advantage. The AUMF arms military force. Military operations should be the last of the most successful CT operation involved intelligence, not open ended military operations involving large deployments. Law enforcement services identify the historic and multiple plans. These mechanisms do the AUMF, so clean repeal won't affect our ability to disrupt plots. Mark that card as disrupt. Uh, yeah, we'll take prep. Yo, this. Uh, yep. This, I think this is worth putting in there given the no. problems you have. No. Uh, I'll add, actually. No, just, yeah, not even worth busting over. Let me get a little water. Stuff's in the drop box. Are you good? Yeah, we can take more if we need them. All right, uh, we have 757 left. Um, okay, so I guess I just want to go through like what we're allowed to do under the law enforcement paradigm. Okay. Uh, so drone strikes, when are they okay? Uh, uh, outside of zones of active hostilities, they're only okay. Uh, with, they can't be justified on the basis of an armed conflict. Uh, if we repeal the AUMF, what zones of active hostilities are there? Uh, after the 2014 with Afghanistan withdrawal, there would be no no zones of active hostilities related to the war on terror. So we right. could not use drones without host nation consent? Is that safe to say? Uh, I'm not sure about the host nation consent part. You'd have to well, what, what, what do we have to do to use drones then? We've gone over the active so hostilities. So the status quo can use drones on the basis not that there's an armed conflict with everyone associated. No, not the status quo. Yeah, after the plan, right, right, just right. like, I I'm the president, I, I want to use, use the status quo to explain okay, the difference. So after the, the plan, he can't use that justification to use the, target kill. The McIntosh card, however, says that it is possible that there could be other justifications, for instance, constitutional authority, and also that the president would be able to seek from Congress a more limited, narrow authorization to have why, some authority. Why, why doesn't why doesn't that you know take out like your signaling stuff? Sure, our evidence says that the problem with the AUMF is that it is not bounded either temporally or geographically, and mm -hmm. that the plan sends a signal from the other two branches that they are not willing to hear from the, pr or to allow the president to uh, have an unlimited well, war, well, so he couldn't get I, I'm unlimited war right, right, right. so I'm, I'm assuming right. when you say the other two branches, you mean uh, Congress and the courts. What, what's the role of the courts? Uh, that's not specified as of the 1A C. Gotcha. Uh, how do you solve uh, public will to maintain leadership? Because Brooks is definitely talking about that, at least at some point. Um, yeah, Brooks might talk about that, but I think that the AF, by rebalancing away from the, like, get involved any time that there's an al-Qaeda failed state paradigm right. would send the signal that the U.S. is willing to play a more well, well, like, role, let, let, let me put it this way: we don't see thousands of soldiers die well, in well, Afghanistan yeah, and then thousands let, more. Let me, let, me, let me phrase it differently. So, like, obviously, you know, this is a hypothetical and you'll contest some of these conditions. But let's say, you know, I'm the public and, you know, I have a certain interest in how much we want to engage right now. 
that amount's not enough. There's not enough public support. Is your claim that after the plan there will be more public support for other stuff, just better stuff? I don't understand how you can get to more I, public support. I, I, I don't think, like I think you're drawing this public internal, 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 internal like out of nowhere. Yeah, you're making it, you're making it too big. I'm, I'm drawing it's it out more, of the, uh, yeah. I, mean, I, I think the biggest lot, internal link, yeah. right, the right, biggest right. internal link is our majority. Another, another, yeah, another thing I want to talk about. Manager alliances. Yeah, another thing I want to talk about is like a lot of these cards, especially when I look at Preble, is talking about like when we proclaim this war on terror, how do you solve sort of that rhetoric? Right, because all of that rhetoric is based in the AUMF. But I mean, and Obama, like, uh, Obama already did a type of thing where he's like, "This is no longer." Obama. Warm. Okay, so the soft After constraints the card that I read at the top of the solvency contention says that if Congress or the courts were to officially end the war on terror, the president could not credibly give the rhetoric of the war on terror. It would force a shift to a law enforcement. Yeah, that's a little bit of problem. All right, we're at seventy-seven. What you um, I just want to see the double check. So this, mm -hmm. this, this, this. Yep. Yep. Case stuff. Uh, oh, explain this. Uh, there was another thing in there. Oh, you want me to read that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. On that page. Actually, do you, how how do you think it'll implicate your case covered? I think it'll make it very poor. Okay, then we'll save that. Um, everything else good? Yep, good to go. Uh, take away that asterisk. <laughs> no. Okay, now we're good to go. 724. Does the asterisk signify that it's a good card? No, I just did it for all the one and C's in the file, but I didn't want to make you think that that was like something else deeply invested in. <laughs> well, maybe I do. I don't know. Okay, the order will be five off, solvency, advantage one, advantage two. It's just been sent. Down to 724, mm -hmm. I think. Okay. Sorry, what'd you say? It wasn't coming through, but I got it. Okay. I need to download the attachment. stand is so terrible. Yeah, this part it should be a little better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something about that looks off. Yeah, it's tilted. Uh, is it? I would just hold on to your laptop. I'm just gonna speak sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Make sure you like brandish this though. <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone good to go? Yeah. Uh, let me make sure I have enough sheets of paper. One, two, three, four. Yep. Perfect. The F is an instrument of neoliberal law enforcement. It's violent, grants attitude, and disdain for democracy. More steel than law enforcement. You go to station or anything that's having a lower departure from uh, a liberal democracy. The assumption of law is a safeguard of democracy. It's false to repeat its rules and restrictions as well. It's a rule defined by anti democratic power. The uh, uh, heart of violence is long being urged to U.S. law for focus on this or excess false uh, uh, arming the most heinous suffering and legal purge. Redefining violence as self time purging. All necessity involves a mobilization of a large reservation. Supporting a uh, 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 SOF and offering a distance, safe, ethical, distant, pragmatic, assessable, parceling out uh, a war discourse. A profound part to invoke dangerous, requiring extraordinary action. Law for ultimately enables the taxing uh, a combination of U.S. geopolitics and biopolitics. Extinction sent to us and on trace uh, an extent of UMD and resource, many wars are manifested in poverty, disguise, violence, and disturbance, equal balance, and a crazy, paving tension, paving the way for a visible war, spirit, because of peace, involved, uh, a systemic elimination of the roots of violence, and can uh, only after, after or before the war cannot be safeguarded. And one part of the question is the survival of humankind under rapidly regressing science that excited cannot survive unless inequality are eliminated due to irreversible changes. The alternative is to look beyond the law for solutions to complex problems, go straight in. Uh, a non constitutional space ambition being declared inside of the straight lines, running checks, mountains, several seven to war parts, setting aside the subject, shooting in the period, manipulation is true sufficient. Uh, a distortion of the question of the same body, the framing of the legal universe requires legal reasoning in the process of being shaped by the press. I reject the framework of uh, expecting legal solutions for all action. The assumption that every legal question be answered with the legal environment requiring complexity cannot be captured within the uh, uh, methodology once therefore be all beyond 
existing laws, and in some cases, go outside of law. The formalization of some of the combos from the accomplishment of the discrete scenarios are scenario, just as checks, but not only fit for any bulletproof checks that the objective is rules are applied to a set of scenarios. We already uh, eliminated the possibilities that a logical decision maker can never be decoupled any pole where to destroy the rock. Uh, uh, suggest the president of Oak's dreams, and post war in Congress, their alternative distinction of these some strong false countries may have. Mischaracter the threat on there for misdiagnosis or writing with I'm like negotiating uh, a development committee embargo sanctions negotiation or something warning scholars are virtually question of legal uh, a power authority has been debated yet nothing has come on these discussion I trace a better legal paradigm which embrace post modernity and in, inculcate in concepts such as the curve constitutional space topicality restriction means prohibition uh, skip that off case skip that off case the politics is said patent reform now PC key Myers in uh, uh, 14 lawmakers are in patent off case suggesting bonuses coming once the committee lays my uh, a mark of a mid able and receives his litigation trolls thoughts pass a bill that way does push her these year focusing on the uh, uh, democratic side chambers must set on a commerce and election year the plan kills capital and Nealon uh, uh, seven by first hand accounts of battles and experts on political collision, Trump, a constitutional interest, the cost of defense of the presidents, include the expenditure of PC that might have been used for more personal priorities and a with the president, official acknowledgement, a uh, uh, politics and personal consideration, overrides principle that closes the window and alienates Senate Dems. Wild 14, the window is beginning to close. The uh, uh, head of steam that culminated in the uh, approval has uh, uh, begun to dismay in the election year, beginning to cause concerns among Dems with traditional racial campaign money for trial lawyers. The clock is ticking. The impact is clean tech and innovation. Clark and 13, how is the vault to become an effective green tech plan for trolling and spending uh, a sustainable system trolling will place the production that our patent officer Bruce Day and certain ideas that I using patent components and uh, uh, concept computers, heavy program tech as well. Telling a very common temptation to purchase innovation of uh, 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 purely abstract regulation, merely reducing the number of trolls, extinction, clear of us, and nine, the US must rely on innovation, escape environmental multi and above technology. Let's say the planet of warming, which all of you saw, uh, uh, maneuver great power, while we seem to replace the US seems unable to move beyond a uh, movie on our company, feeling anti modest to Russia, China, and Nessie Zero, some kind of experience, global civility, six for integration, government means devastating choice, common distance is not on a mass security, a uh, uh, warm and most solar hydrogen, even fusion innovation, only private alternatives, they will keep financial flows in. A uh, uh, check, it's key to medical biotech innovation, Feldman, uh, 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 not Jonah, and 328. We started to have trolls moving into bias from our uh, 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 recent study shows that the bias industries are at a serious risk. The destabilizing activity of Russia and university could have serious consequences for the industry and for university. It's not the life of chance that happen uh, uh, the activity before it comes even in the trench and too much harm it goes. That solved the aging crisis alliance for aging research and sex dialogue is getting concerning the MSN. It's what demographic sign uh, will have in health system. Our is facing an annual challenge of our and disease. We must recognize the recent disease with medical innovation. Medical innovation is a role of the very helping uh, uh, to contain medical costs, resulting in a very improved health care. Far away, increase the average investment in health care. Uh, uh, Producers three must return the potential metal and medical innovation. Nuclear war, U.S. leadership, key Holland, Jackson, and China's coming ways. Maybe we can support China. Good, Korean, Klaus, Russia, Lucky, Spain, the best thing is not published in Progressive ways in the Emirates, Victor, Phil Tays, Winuka, Naka, Boom, Apologia, Objection, Economic Association, Feeling Good, Global, Ethnic, Seven, Religious, Agreements, and Pakistan, One, Here's something like Chaos, while the other, uh, Aspires to Reach, Old Germany, Are His Nuclear Weapons, Population, Trans, One, and Next Week, Tour, The More Dominant, U.S. World, and The World, That Will Need Us More Counterplan. On January 1st, 2015, the United States federal government should repeal public law uh, of 10740's authorization to use force effective within one month. It solves the act. They don't have ad, uh, uh, that one day delay implicates solvency, but it competes since they specified it in the plan. The net benefit is announced now, uh, announcing and now links to politics. The counterplan does nothing whatsoever until next year, but makes it effective right away. Now, the next counterplan, the president should uh, uh, publicly proclaim the end of armed conflict with Al Qaeda and renounce actions based on the legal authority of the AUMF. The net benefit is in a branch conflict in our uh, uh, branch tensions are escalating That's over the, the wrong text. I'll give it to you, but keep I'm going to fix the text. They're escalating. Now, key to foreign policy coherence, Samuelson 323 finds things better with the CIS and uh, uh, enter dangerous territory, causing the for America's opposed to men, geopolitical hotspots. Uh, uh, upon one takes sides public with no resolution capital on the CRA structure and to maintain business as usual. You want everything to become uh, ever sure the disputes taken below makers, limited action, complex issues ranging cybersecurity in Ukraine, Syria, Egypt, and the other uh, uh, hotspots. The counterplan establishes a consultative framework for executive legislative cooperation, but avoids fights over authority. Bagel hammers and she wasn't on the last thing. Uh, uh, Congress and the White House should be doing a squabbling over authority. Soldiers be vested as overt leaders, the substance issue rather than tribunals of whose authority concerning more uh, uh, powers. We propose a framework constitution. The commission cannot resolve the question. Authority and said the question of the third of the constitution reduced unnecessary political pressure the president would be uh, required to confer with the group before committing Congress to vote on the resolution 30 days uh, 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 after that solves the case without binding restriction and fosters debates and accountability uh, and creates de facto political constraint. Hamilton and before Congress to vote the legislation makes Congress to support opposition. The president would be under no legal obligation to combine the joint resolution mechanism to reinsert Congress and force uh, uh, a debate so the custom of the executive going to be able to assume silent uh, uh, acceptance. The F restriction cements an adversarial model of inter branch relations which breaks consultation, man, and any consultation with Congress before executive action or a discussion before both sides stand so by dealing uh, honestly with influential knowledgeable educators. The president of the response of force and increase uh, 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 support reform should avoid the statutory restriction efforts to cut off limits can be reconnoitered and productive in a rent relation remedies of this sort uh, uh, certain provoked opposition more does Congress should replace this past progressive foreign policy with a steadier posture Congress should monitor but now rewrite uh, uh, the rules extinction Hamilton too we face many dangerous terrorism WD information warfare population will strain resource enhancement interesting comic economic cars be a uh, uh, crime drug warming disease of uh, transitional problems threat and security the USS are coming to influence our border and what you listen to an example of principled action you also need strong leadership and resolve must be cooperation between the president and Congress. The uh, uh, leadership requires the president and Congress to work together to cover strong foreign policy. Congress is a very important one. Foreign policy does not live up to his constitutional responsibility. Sandy's been said to her uh, uh, the president to engage in foreign policy and pass the same constitution between the president and Congress. The most effective mechanism for uh, uh, fostering an effective foreign policy that broadly supports at home and respect hands. Uh, uh, a month punch overseas. The text is coming soon. Sorry, it's a new F. Now, solvency, the executive. Uh, here's the text. The text. This one right here in the middle.
Effective December 31st, 2014, Congress should establish by statute a permanent joint uh, a congressional committee and international strategic policy requiring the president consult this committee prior to the use of force authorized by Public Law 10740. This committee should uh, uh, recommend, recommend prohibition on the aforementioned use of force but lack the authority to veto presidential action. The full Congress should be required to vote on a resolution uh, of approval no later than 30 days following consultation. The president should publicly proclaim the end of the armed conflict with al-Qaeda and renounce action based on uh, uh, the legal authority of the AUMF, solvency, the executive shift justifications, Barnes and Tobin, Andy Matthews, based on uh, opt alternative authority. These queries and giving cost to your security tonight, the executive authority the rest and define authorization elsewhere in law and self-demand to the executive and assert signs of all uh, uh, final ways such as that for understanding a limited and all the invasive and only dislocated so there are that would be uh, uh, off limits you should not come right so you're not afraid on the defense of self-demand to destroy the prohibition and armed force and other states come authority to kill any people that result will be cast according to any defense of you self-demand and only uh, harmful to global civility with sapphire's credibility aggressive and arbitration or third world discredits of progress and controversy and invite uh, uh, challenges obama circumvents the plan wolf king 116 uh 116 the first of all the service and the the president give up authority especially the authorities meant to protect their lives the person fears being viewed as a commander to see a terrorist again when you a small officer for fine pressure to claim an exercise authority over chain Guantanamo's operational display pledge is supposed to do Obama's increased use of drone surveillance every time uh, expanded Obama hedge. Alt causes budget, Rune Geo 13, about it, budget cuts have resulted in the shrinking of the family, and more on cameras, operation, Paul Lars are uh, a part of federal superstition, the cuts are split even with defense and discretion, expanding no impact to decline, decline of Germany uh, is unrelated to a Germany fight waste, and there's no one to support a relation between this act of visibility during the uh, 90 US cut defense by 100 billion, and if their trends were not based on that Germany, but in Norm against World War I, but it's the world more peaceful, the US cuts were no stage, and the armor is no uh, uh, balancing the world, it's been not part of what's personally the two, the two are unrelated, the only evidence regarding systematic reaction to recent US suggests that uh, uh, peaceful trends are unrelated to the US military, the world can operate effectively without a, uh, a, global, uh, without a global policeman reject their assertions of conflict scenarios uh, uh, about hegemony. Their authors overstate them. The plan results in court reinterpretation. Johnson, alone authorities for adequate debate becomes already to code of our existing interpretation concern because at the end of the process, we don't want to end up something the courts have uh, a large accept our interpretation. So at the end of the process, we don't want to end up with uh, oh, and end up with less hegemony based on an ideological fantasy of U.S. exceptionalism. Jackson, go to terror. Terrorism. Uh, not a thing. Kek and, uh, Kek and 14, Al Qaeda's operational capabilities, whether the uh, Arctic Energy is spreading and completing the Al Qaeda cyber pipeline, is real confusion, is rooting the tensity of Al Qaeda with terrorism, Al Qaeda uh, is a precise object of measures, is a domestic jihadist, no one of the franchise replicate the model have shown uh, any command to attack in the United States. The US has been extremely limited. The group's center against the Yemeni government. There is no one that also was decided to use a single member for attacking the uh, uh, US Al Qaeda's efforts went towards the government on Shia Al Qaeda's center of its ideology. The group focused on any or any other group or perfect for the domestic models attack the US economy and given terrorism, Al Qaeda has uh, been since the Arab Spring began. No risk in nuclear terrorism or yeah, jet. Skipping Mueller. Talk about a messy one and see. Terrorists won't use them forced until the WD kind of protected by genuine condition and erosion. Uh, in support of Jewish public legitimacy, the erosion of the WD threshold, the group can end my purpose one according to reception of the group. Uh, uh, a drink mass partners reception gives a group reason to think choice and ever reception and finance is given transportation will just against the group protecting the signal expand their effort to, uh, uh, to, to destroy the group. Uh, I won't read that card then either. But Smith and Heron's fine. Yeah, no one. risk of retaliation. Smith and Heron, two thousand members were using military force to retaliate against us. Now reach a high uh, uh, levels meant for military action. Panels prefer the high levels turning against our uh, be, uh, established before action results are inconsistent with the contention will result in violent response. Even as I say, the overall public was not quite measurable. A uh, uh, public opinion measured some fall lines and times of crisis. Really, as a really incoming bedrock belief. Uh, Forty-five counterpoint. Yeah, uh, I already emailed it. Oh, okay, okay. Do you mind if I open it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. Sorry about that. No, it's You're totally good. fine. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I'm good. All right, first let's talk about the critique. Uh, this Morrissey card seems to be pretty definitive that the U.S. discourse of the war on terror and the axis of evil is a process of security making. Uh, what's the link to the F? Our claim is that the use of the legal solution and the notion that reshuffling the deck with the AUMF is somehow a solution to overall U.S. grand strategy is the problem and it obscures the way law comes to exist through a complex interplay of political factors as well as a host of other factors okay, that constitute is, what the law is. How is ending the war shuffling the deck? Because, I mean, the argument on the case, I think Barnes is a great example that the executive would merely do other things to reinterpret the authority that he currently has. Okay. And so that the solution the to the law okay. sort of, you know, okay. masks over the underlying structure that guarantee that. Your Zentes impact card is about uh, environmental racism, mass economic inequality. Can you explain anywhere where Morrissey, Morrissey links makes the lawfare claim, to those Morrissey systems? makes the claim that there's a disdain for overall democracy and the strategy of neoliberal lawfare is one that reifies neoliberalism, which we've read an impact to. Okay, that's fair. You uh, claim you explored that bad shit. Let's talk about the dissed. Uh, do you have a card that the bill that's in Congress right now solves patent trolling? Uh, the... One and C biotech card definitely says that because D had cut that right before the debate. It's about fee shifting. Okay. Uh, I, the other piece so of evidence about innovation, Clark the, makes that claim too. The mechanism is f your argument for why the bill solves is fee shifting. I mean that that's one component right. of the claim. So but the, also, you the know, majority of the people that are getting patent trolled are small businesses, right? 
I mean, our, our evidence doesn't make a claim about that, and absent other evidence introduced into the debate, who knows? Okay, that's that's just sort of so like what true. Are important though, like you can like they're clearly right. important. So but corporations can, are those, also relevant. How can patents? small businesses access the benefits of fee shifting if they don't have the start capital in the capital in the first place to oh, get that. the fees yeah, from uh, the, the, the other? The argument is just like that litigation fear deters venture investment, so they can't get capital. But if they if the invest or sorry if the litigators know that the small businesses aren't able to access fee shifting, why are they deterred? Well, the, the reason they can't access fee shifting is lack of capital investment. Yeah. And the reason why there's no capital investment is because if you're a venture capital dude and you're thinking about going into this startup, there's no point in dumping your money into a bunch of fees. However, if you think you're going to win the All case right. and dump the fees onto the other party, then you're going to put your venture capital there. Is politics a net benefit to your second counterpart? Yes. Yep. Why? Uh, it's it's not a authority. binding restriction on authority. The authority is still on the books in the world of a counter fund. Okay. Counter plan is conditional? Yep. Status quo is always a logical option. Can you explain how the first counter plan is competitive given that – Yeah, you specify the date in your plan. Our plan specifies when the law becomes effective <coughs> but not when it's passed. There would be no need to specify an effective date if, the plan, if it could be that date. Like that doesn't make any sense. Like, Why well, does that not make sense? Because – it would just say effective immediately, or it wouldn't say it at all. Our claim is you chose to put that in the plan, you should be accountable for it. Uh, I got some, some stuff in the chat. You know. cool. uh, we'll talk about it. I'm just starting with it. Actually, I'll take another second.
Solvency. Sad and then I Uh, where's the other leg of it? I think I might. Uh, um, here. would feel about that. <laughs> Aren't you so worried about Nasser? Yeah, that's like a 45 grade old ground. Yeah, uh, the leg. Do you want to right closest to you? Too long? Do you want to shorten that one? And you have it on its tilting surface, which is like false. So you want to make the leg to your left longer. I, I think you have to make your, all of it shorter. <laughs> I'm going to speak from that. We should draw a diagram. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this isn't too far away from everyone. Did you toss me a timer? Yeah. Can you toss me one that makes sense? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> one that makes sense. <laughs> what do you say we just keep that up for a while? Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> While the speech is going on. <laughs> All right. The affirmative does not get circumvented. The chest, the ends, indicates that Obama, uh, or the shift to the arm care effect, uh, uh, the shift away from arm confidence would create more pressure from diplomats and uh, the populace in the United States, which would make it harder to justify future operations. We saw this argument with the Macintosh evidence indicates that it will not be a runway use of authority, but it will be restrained in order to prevent certain imminent threats which trans does not trick a means that it doesn't solve. We saw that anyway, the war paradigm determines whether or not Chinese have an overreaction to the United States foreign policy, and ultimately what determines the focus of the duty, which uh, affects the uh, like, U.S. foreign policy, is implemented. Article 2 operations will be restrained toward, and their deep subsidies to provide scope of legal authority, deploy article uh, multiple force to deploy the right now, analogous effect to scope of authority to provide multiple force is in no way analogous to the authority to deal with the American conflict fair which under a pure soft spectrum of refusing multiple force would require termination of it, but that this one conducted operation more difficult to justify the range of legal force options to use multiple powers that are broadly conscious of the business of the conflict even in expanded position of it, and this is under the pure soft spectrum model would never really result in having to deploy force to disrupt now the hegemony advantage there. We saw the election because now these are and evidence indicates that budgetary problems are a response to overstretch rates off US for uh, the focus on the state. Hegemony does solve more than federalized evidence. This is to transition towards the person both for them. Kate said other countries pull in because of declining the United States alliance commitments. Independently, the United States leadership could do solve global cooperation, which mitigates the risk of conflict on the host of existential uh, risks. Terrorism. Try to identify the true evidence. It's not about retaliation. It indicates an attack causes uh, extinction because it uh, causes uh, global climatic changes. Yes, there's the impact of terrorism. The bond evidence indicates that there is new acquisition of nuclear weapons that are happening in South Coast Syria. Makes Al Qaeda strong. They're reorganizing. They do have the motive to attack our evidence. Hot documents uh, say, say from Bin Laden, Arab, uh, Shirko. The impact is not retaliation. That was above. The counterclaim. The <laughs> repeal of the does not solve. The counterpoint does not repeal the AUMF. It leaves the statutory authority. Executive action is entrusted and gets reinterpreted by future presidents. I'm training the authorization for the war is key that's prevalent. The counterpoint isn't binding. The counterpoint is hollow rhetoric. It sends mixed international signals. The executive won't listen to Kreider. It sends not a legislative action that equal way through. Non binding action comes in. Criticism doesn't actually go to carry any concrete consequences. The or see as hollow. Their effects should be limited. Not binding government should not pay. You put new any alternative to the administration policy. The first, you know, represent serious. Tell us the presence of free evidence signals. Not binding action. Except for an action driver. Big really. Except she comes. You'll vote to use the formal. It means I'm supposed to read the presidential contract. We can't check the executive's weight and set a contract of resolutions or taxes are hardly received soft law measures just easily. Naval presidential unit allows contracts might also apply soft law measures as less taxing alternative statutes which might let off the hook to you too easily and diminish congressional constraints on the executive permutation to the counter plan as the lead up to the plan. Um, the, it's, it's also on that benefit because it means that there would be consultation and Obama would just um, buy, buy the permutation to both and also permutation to the counter plan. Ending the war is impossible without repealing the AUM. Public declarations failed. Trump in 24 Obama saying it's not a war. Obama's can't to buy stuff to rules government. 
Coming in now, that's the same old from Montana, Congress, Grand Sea Towers, and thinking about the AUMS and the heart of the legal structure of the war on terror, appealing to the more than any single actor would mark the end of that war. Bob McConnell and Congress to repeal. He has been nothing since then. The AUMS and subsequent relationships and the measures and authorized. If you're not a war, you don't need it. You don't have to use any gauge in war like actual drink of reason to repeal the AUMS to make absolutely clear that the U.S. is that which has the authority friends without more power to it. Shall we from the outer of constitutional prerogative? This is national mythology of the overcome Republican and farmer. We subject to disaligning, dialing down the counter terror of volume. No half measure will convey the message that Obama wants to transmit. We're no longer at war. Terrorist friends said it's pursuing a subtractive foreign policy and to torture. He moved troops from Iraq as necessary. It is not flexing. He hopes not within his power to end the war on terror. Does not solve the terrorism advantage because still maintains the framework of an armed conflict. It changes the operations within that framework because it has said pro events in particular use of force, but it's not end the overall war. It means it does not solve terrorism because it still deters allies from cooperating and alienates large house populations. Also, does not solve the DOD focus because as long as we're in a tactical war, it still has to plan for the possibility of using force, which means that it cannot focus on other things. No fight over the plan uh, between the president and Congress, which takes out the link to the dis and and three to Obama notes to look forward to engage Cox in the federal and efforts to repeal the U.S. expected to make to expand his promise. Second interpretation for the plan also solves net benefit. The only reason their evidence indicates congressional leadership is key is to rebalance the United States foreign policy. Our evidence indicates that the key to that is ending the war in the status quo, which means there's no, the, only the plan solves. The delay counts up. Permutation to the counterplan, the saving of the plan as immediate is bad. The counterplan encourages a creative interpretation of fiat debates, invaluable into bars to center. On questions the resolution opposes, the H point destroys affirmative ground. The verb of restricting is key basis for affirmative ground and to the office. That counterplan skews that and sets artificial questions like delay. The peace points that lead to logical scale debates. The topic provides process questions about restrictions and agents are interrupt shift away to our, that to artificially introduce process questions like delay. Now the counterplan only competes off, competes off delay. It does not compete off the effective part of the plan. The, uh, the counterplan compete off the date effective and the, uh, the part of the plan where it says that it is effective after a certain date is not a mandate, but instead a qualification of the restriction. The counter plan is plan plus because it just uh, has more of that restriction, and by doing it immediately, just with a delay, the counter plan is now the, the, the effective part is not a positive action, but it's not a limitation on a previous positive action in, in the plan. Permutation do both would uh, solve the net benefit. Additionally, the counter plan, do, the counter plan does not solve the agency that the immediate signal to the war on terror, to ending the war on terror, is credible. It does not send that signal until after the end of Afghanistan deadline. So, you know, people fear in the status that Afghanistan is going to draw over the Sesco, so only the plan says that commitment means it comes to solve terrorism or hegemony because it means that other countries don't cr- question whether or not the war is ending. Additionally, immediately assuring our allies is key. Desco and Vladimir 14 has some set provision as obvious benefits of making clear to our allies into the pool of would be terrorist recruits that the United States and Asia are not seeking to engage in state of perpetual war. It also drives home the larger point that at some point the conflict of Congress found the rise of September 2001 effectively brought to court the executive could treat the AUMS with lack even without such legislation. The counterpoint also prevents an uh, as I mean, call, like, uh, the counterpoint also hurts counterterrorism because it means that we can't effectively transi- uh, transition because it does not uh, give time to want to see private lives that so we need, the Congress uh, president needs to hear in order to understand and shift to new authorities in order to make the counterterrorism transition effective. Politics. Obama losing now, less than 3.5 Democrats got to Republican opposition drop platforms. I have had the Obama defense defeat. The White House position was not covered by Democrats. 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 Position was not covered by Which solves better now. Jacobson and 13 congressional left to litigate to introduce untrue on the role of the judicial conference. Lord Jack's discussion of judges' increased cost compliance, keeping the access to courts for small businesses and litigation cases. Very well, that's not the all judicial conference discretion. It's then better position to see the appropriate rules of conference. That's going to amend the rules to reduce costs to delay courts' effectively to recover from rules to make a fee. Judging mandatory such a way to the cost of litigation to settle within the judicial discretion. So, every for the presumption of the burden would be a losing party facing access to the courts for the leader who made an unalive condition of Peter Rayton's return of the right should be considered defeating the legislative rights. Holders acting in violation of patent for procurement and encouraging for the lawsuit to malpractice claims of fears are awarded. The Supreme Court of Federal Court, Senator Cutter, is leaving standard fee shifting Latin patent cases. AIA reform solved Dixon 13 over broad patents are being addressed by the changes made by Congress. Chart. The beginning to follow is for the former director of the USPTO. I support the former director of Capitol giving Roberts the chance to uh, work the early data sets they are performing Congress and is approving courses to give these farms uh, reforms the chance to campaign their advocacy for weeks instead of making difficult additional changes which may have voted 10 consequences. The bill is getting delayed now and court will be taking action. Brown is reporting patent reform. World Chance decided to the Supreme Court to take oral arguments for a landmark each manager where their bid will be without a ethics pass on committee after 
was that in your consumers could say to expand the view mandate and by the tea will continue to fight for the controversial issue. No impact to aging. Lieber into this. I chat about your German can face significant aging will be to be continuation of use down with US benefits from flexibility and activity and after capacity will not respond to future that's immensely underpaid to support and gain to remain robust privacy. That's likely to be sustainable. Their environmental impact are inevitable. Their evidence suggests about warning Solomon in that in virtual climate change cannot be the temperature increases or not to mention decrease even carbon emissions or cease emissions will lead to changes on short and long scales. Your virtual change again the millennium and it's been modeling lead to improvement and under equilibrium amounts of CO2 is expected to retain 50 percent carbon emission to require retain the atmosphere with ocean and have to require 20 percent to remain on a thousand year time scale. Mark that card at a thousand year time scale. Okay. Uh, for the negative connected alternatives to policy concerns and institutional practices, after these questions shift and knowledge production of useless governments have been institutional logic that exists independent of individuals and constrain their decision making. Neoliberals of those compensation ledgers in 2000 and 2002 resource tries to continue to be a vertebrate technology and technological innovation of the of resources and market pricing and to change the environment to value suffering presence over our secret economic growth. One more, Roderick has now largely been replaced by independence on the need for cooperation and transition from neoliberal thoughts and massive violence. Ambition 84 capital convinces this destruction of Vietnam prevents losses of likelihood of suffering. Nation be clear of the past five years out. In the future, except there's no case from Russia to China, Vietnam, Cuba. Chile, and Nicaragua, where the government challenge that appears to be the best of the law, he can not stand in response, but to ignore the department of the world as possible, altogether permutation do both. Additionally, legal norms don't cause war, and the alternative cannot solve neoliberalism. Move in attention, but nothing to say about the side of politics, and theory focused on entities, not friends, political meetings, main issues, ship authority, and more about it, but possibly critical law, and if law, fair, international, criminal law, not the same thing as war, sandal, war, humanitarian, motion, defense, and submission, warning, does not apply, back in war, friction, send the friend, accusation, liberal, values, and alien, shake, truth, and default, theater, or politics, liberals, and proven, strong now. We disconnect between the link and the impact. There's no connection between how the alternative recognizes law and that connection to the way neoliberalism destroys the environment, which was their impact it's about the alternative to the dissent of the alternative. No explanation of how legal restraints are key to end the war on terror and send the signal would be able to uh, stop things like terrorism or hegemony. Okay, uh, these counterplan answers, Kreiner says, because such actions, quote, fail to carry any concrete consequences, what concrete consequences does the plan impose if the president doesn't comply? Uh, well, that piece of evidence said, well, if the president doesn't comply, then congressional legislation is enforced by the courts. But also that piece of evidence... Where, where does your plan say that there's a concrete mechanism which Kreiner says is necessary? I don't see that, that here. That question doesn't make sense. All legislation, when violated by an actor, if the Congress has the authority to impose the legislation, is enforced by the which courts. Which card do you the think in the whole debate you read that, that the plan's restriction is that? The, the, the plan is congressional legislation. The counterplan, which is what this Kreiner card is about, the is about also passing involves legislation Congress. that's not binding on the authority of the president. The Swain evidence is about a concurrent resolution. That's not our counterplan. Why does it apply? Uh, the second half of the counterplan that doesn't use the word concurrent resolution so far. I can read lines that I think. Explain to me how the counterplan is similar to a concurrent resolution. Well, that's not what I said. I said the, the words the cards give apply. It's about soft mm -hmm. law in which the counterplan poses a Do you have a card that the creation restrain. of a joint congressional committee is at all perceived as soft law by international adversaries, by terrorists? The argument, anything? well, there's two things. The perception argument is that the counterplan <laughs> in no way leads to the possibility of the war on terror ending because it determines specific uses of forces as opposed to the overall framework. Uh, the, the tune claim, one nuclear weapon causes extinction, the basis for that is what? Hiroshima, Nagasaki... No, that piece of evidence says that it will be more than one nuclear weapon. It also Wait, indicates that... Toon says a, a nuclear explosion causes significant climate perturbations. What is the basis for one nuke doing that? Um, I just said there wasn't just one nuke. Okay. Even, if uh, it, even if that card is, the card is from a climate scientist. It says that new weapons would cause perturbations in climate because they would undermine ag global agriculture. Cause the like corn out. evidence on the case uh, about the self-defense shift just says that self-defense <coughs> isn't that, and it's an academic understanding by corn. Do you have a card that Obama wouldn't claim broader self-defense yep. authority? Uh, well, this piece of evidence assumes a world in which he does and says that his, for his, able, his ability to use force is limited in that world. Where, where so, do you think this speaks to what he would do, not like theoretically what some academic thinks international law should even be? Even if an expanded, so this is when he's talking about the worst case at the end of the card. Even if an expanded definition of imminence undergirded a pure self-defense model, it would inevitably result in hesitancy to employ force to disrupt. In that is speaking to Obama's motivations in the context of the war on terror? Yes, absolutely. What, what, what other it do you think it's referencing? Uh, international actors in international law, not the president. Lubin on the K... This is in response to a presidential speech. Last question. Lubin That's on the K is speech. about Schmidt's understanding of enmity. Uh, what does our alt or blink or anything have to do That's with that? That's in response that? to the link arc about lawfare. This evidence indicates that... Schmidt has nothing to say about the constructive side of politics. His theory focuses on enemies and not friends. What does this have to do with RK? I, the last part of it is about the use of lawfare in restraining force, which answers, the, it's a dissent to the alt, and it 
Link or the Link Alright, so we have um, or I guess it's something like 24. Um, which? Uh, yeah. Let me send that out to the group. It, uh, there wasn't I, don't, much. I don't know what your hands are referencing.
<laughs> Little bit sad. Yeah, if you put the legs all the way down, it's like relatively safe. Yeah, I'm gonna just try to clear some space off the desk and hopefully it should pass. Uh, while I'm dealing with this, the order is delay counter plan and then uh, consult counter plan. Two A's nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's the worst order of all. That. <laughs> <laughs> Makes slightly more sense given how this debate is playing out, but that was the <laughs> ugliest order. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't blame. Stop. Yeah. Well, well, we'll get to what. I think we may have dropped that hidden ace by the counter plan. I wouldn't. I wouldn't sweat. Saving it for the two at the competition. <laughs> <block>. <laughs> cool. All righty. Delay counterplan not going for its are even introduced to time frame competition is clearly a bad thing. Consult counterplan solvency at the top. The counterplan solves the affluency. Hamilton Hamilton says it creates an obligation for the president to consult, which means decisions have to be made with congressional input. It's not a legal restriction in the sense of appealing the AMF, but it has the political effect of improving decision making as a sort of global issue. They read the wrong counterplan to AC. This is not the concurrent resolution counterplan that we read back at GSU. The counterplan is a legally codified restriction. The question is, what is the direct object of that restriction? We pass a new law that's analogous to the War Powers Consultation Act in the sense that Obama, before doing anything pursuant to the AMF, legally has to talk to Congress about it. Congress doesn't have the right to veto that action, but if Obama just decides that he wants to help and strike another country or invade uh, somewhere, he's not allowed to do it without that dialogue uh, taking place. If we win that that dialogue creates a better model for foreign policy, it uh, creates a form of engagement that we have uh, straight turn all of the affirmative they have no general impact defense to our Hamilton evidence. It's not about leadership, it's about interbranch conflicts that wreck foreign policy, even if they send an overall signal of war on terror ending. That signal will be muddled because there will be confusion about its scope and of uh, the overall intent of various actors because it's a fundamentally unprecedented action the war on terror that does not exist outside the hyper-liberal imaginations of a couple authors like uh, Wits and Waxman. The counterplay is the best balance of war powers that establishes a cooperative model for shared powers rather than making Congress a Senate. That's key to prevent uh, to every aspect of foreign policy. Consultation will challenge erroneous executive assumptions and persuade the president to change course if necessary. The counterplay solves better than authorization requirement when the president has incentives to rally the public first and then force Congress to back down. At what date? Goldsmith is assuming the executive will spirit analysis will never persuade Congress. Just it's likely seen around to have a warning against particular path. We have seen the entire Congress is co opted by the political environment created by a commander who, in lieu of consulting, decides to issue a public call to arms. When that happens, the executive is in the driver's seat that Congress needs the nice state capacity council is hard, better to have the sense of influence by the best judgment of senior members, step by experts, then by the court of public opinion. Two other framing issues. First is sufficiency. We don't have to solve everything or make anything perfect. We just have to do enough to run an overall breakdown of leadership and uh, create enough of a law enforcement model so that people won't get a nukes. Given the difficulty involved in all of those steps, then our uh, counterplan is more enough when there's no quantifiable impact to their solvency deficit. Second is none of their answers assume the combination of flanks. So yes, and Obama announcing the end of the war in the abstract might be bad, and yes, the consultation in the abstract might be bad, but the combination of those ensures that there's a clear legal limit on what the president has to do before he uses force, and then the president announces that he doesn't intend to uh, go rogue on the use of force means that it's more than enough to uh, this reassure stuff like aliens, especially since we can engage in the type of dialogue that explains that the counterplan is the only uh, middle ground that solves dialogue and uh, joint development of war powers decisions without giving Congress an unnecessary veto. Yo, state 89, Congress rule must be more than post hoc ratification or solid approval. However, need not rise to the level of an enabling legislation. There's no proposal the middle ground in which the president must meet to discuss policy option consultation would constrain the president because it would force him to justify war powers decision. A mechanism for consultation would find an important step towards achieving political equilibrium necessary for sound decision making by facilitating congressional participation and more powers the mechanism moves Congress towards uh, parity with uh, the president. Consultation really provides the president with 
that advice and dialogue, the veto does not apply to the consultation or requirement. Also, it improves presidential decision making and creates the perception of joint foreign policy development. That link turns all of their public and international engagement arguments came and came. 14, it is essential for the Congress and the President to work together to define new war powers consultative agreement. We need to create a broader and more durable national consensus on foreign policy when it comes to war. Americans want to pull back from the uh, world. Our assistance and defense budgets are declining. The desire to curb presidential power is growing. America's got through this kind of rebalancing. We've gotten it wrong. That is how we got isolationism and disarm. That is how we got a hollow army and new power. War powers resolution can build a more durable consensus to stand global lead. A leadership the legislation can restore a better balance to the way national security decision making should work. When we look across the Middle East and Asia, the rise of tensions, we are on the path of conflict is evolving into a chaotic situation for the Mediterranean to harm using how the people deserve a clear definition of the responsibilities of Congress. We are introducing the War Powers Consultation Act. If the President and Congress do not work together and find consensus, we might be asking to fight without a clear political consensus and agreement behind the mission. This has access to two improvements of the WR. First, a permanent consultation committee has established that permanent consultation committee is an avenue for discussion between the executive and the legislative branches, permanent and continuous of in the world of America. The use of American military force that would regularize consultation with the Congress by requiring ongoing uh, dialogue. Now they have not made an argument that the President would circumvent it. That's obviously impossible because otherwise it would take out the apples while the President has no incentive to circumvent because the outcome of consultations and binding Congress doesn't get a veto and the President retains final decision making authority. Now the next argument is the uh, permutation stuff. I'm going to do perm, do both wherever it was. It's that resort links in that benefit. The counterplan doesn't establish a restriction on war powers authority. It merely requires them to consult a joint congressional committee in advance of any war powers uh, decision. The counterplan institutionalizes formal consultation and revitalizes congressional foreign policy role without having a uh, binding authorization requirements. The difference is that the plan is a prior authorization requirement that says the president has to get permission uh, first by repealing the entire law of the books. The counter plan doesn't uh, prevent them uh, from blocking the operation, but it does require the president to obtain in advance Baker and Hamilton. Uh, nine, uh, the president must commit if he's going to commit troops, but not obtain approval. No requirement here for approval. There's a mandatory requirement for consultation, so you are triggering a requirement for the Congress to engage for resolution approval. Does not pass our statute. Could have provided any member of the House to Senate can introduce resolution disapproval. If that resolution disapproval is passed, it would not have the force of law unless the constitutional requirement of the president was uh, the met and that it was presented to the Congress for a signature veto. You actually wind up simultaneously affording the president the discretion to ask commander chief and the ability to be able to make an emergency decision to protect the country, but also wind up empowering Congress. They also can't make any loophole arguments about the necessity of those emergency things because they've already said in cross that they would allow that too. The resolutions plank just forces Congress to take a stand on foreign policy decisions. It's not binding, and if it fails, it just means that any member can introduce a resolution of disapproval after the consultation. It doesn't require a vote for disapproval. It's a choice, and hence an effect of the counterplan, even, and it's only binding if the president signs it. The main effect is political, not legal, which is more important. How 11, the WPC records the president consult with us, how distinct from newly notify newly created the international <laughs> consultation committee. The Congress fails to authorize war. The committee must introduce concurrent resolutions calling for the worst disapproval. Should those resolutions fail, any member of Congress can introduce a resolution expressing disapproval, although a resolution of disapproval is not binding unless the president signs the commission anticipates that the mere act of forcing members to vote will promote accountability and provide members to the congressional consultation committee and then an incentive to actively engage the president. The commission has not involved the congressional resolutions by themselves will redirect you and four policy. Rather, those resolutions are viewed as a means to an end. They are valuable to the extent that they foster an overage consultations about uh, war restrictions, ruin consultation. The one to see man evidence slays the term. They lock in an adversarial model of interbranch authority that prevents consultation from becoming a genuine Hamilton Baker state. The permutation is likely to cause fights over authority. It creates an absurd result because it has Congress tell the president that it wants genuine consultation over war powers while simultaneously telling the president that he doesn't have a choice at all. Prior authorization arguments of uh, of foreign policy. Spear of 13 congressional approval train uh, for responsibility to foreign policy. New Congress that is more divided and capable of reason to debate more dysfunctional than any modern in history. The paralysis of Congress coming to foreign policy American power would have been embraced by the requirement of congressional approval, which in many cases wouldn't have been forthcoming. The rest of the world can forget about how the U.S. going to military battle with broad implications for the global uh, system generally. The next uh, permutation is something about a time frame, do the uh, counter plan, and then the plan. Obviously, it links to all of our benefits case that eventually takes away the authority altogether, which obviates the need for consultation. It's also uh, convinced based on time frame, which we're conceding shouldn't happen. Pluto don't get to do it, they don't get to do it either. Permutation do the counter plan, cross by all the above. The counter plan doesn't revoke the authority. It's a, just a codified mechanism to discuss. And you should air strongly negative. All of this is based on comparative topic specific evidence. If we can't get negative grounds based on the restriction itself, then we can't get anything. It also suffers prohibition from the plan severance is voter issue. And that means yeah, you should both endow for deterrence because Jackson and ground now. The next evidence they read is the trial card. This is all rhetoric. It doesn't assume the combination of plates, which I explained in great detail above. Also, uh, that all Obama clarifies the outcome of the consultation by announcing that he doesn't want to pursue the war anymore. That's distinct from the past uh, the announcements where Obama said he wants to do stuff like scale it down. This would be clarifying Obama's ten intent when he goes into the consultations, which is uh, more than uh, sufficient. I don't need to read more evidence about the plan causing inner uh, branch fights because uh, that was all above and they didn't really contest in the 2AC. Bud Kreiner goes negative on this. Kreiner 10 binding legislative action of good repercussions for the president of war. That's your challenge to the president. Tomorrow, I'm going to action. Also, 10 unambiguous signals about American dominion to target the military. Eventually, they encourage targets to continue to resist and raise the cost of continued uh, military action. Now, the next argument is the ally stuff. I explained most of this above. Inner branch uh, competition is way worse for ally cre uh, credibility because they don't know who to trust or what the future direction of foreign policy is. Even if there's a law off the books, the uh, fact that there's discord over uh, what it means or what the goals of foreign policy should mean uh, means that we can't have a coherent foreign policy in any setting, not just in the, on the warrants here, which means they have incentives to uh, seek out the bandwagon with other actors like China, and it means that we can't execute any of the agreements that we have already uh, committed to. The same goes for the DOD focus argument, the fact that uh, there's a whole new mechanism for how the president goes into his decisions and the president's announcement means there will be uh, the, a more reasonable budget. Also, 
also this doesn't make sense. All of the arguments uh, that we made are about the current level of budget being unsustainable. There, uh, they have to prove that they would decrease the overall budget, which would obviously uh, take away their answers to a lot of the case arguments. The next evidence is the panda stuff. The panda evidence goes negative. Most of these quotes are based on something Obama said a while back when he said uh, that. Uh, sorry, my timer isn't going. I didn't mind them. Sorry, either. Where am I at? It's one. Cool. Um, in fact, Panda is kind of misquoting it. It says, Obama noted he looks forward to engaging Congress and the people in efforts to refine and ultimately repeal the AOMF's uh, mandate. The question is how that should uh, come about. Also, uh, more on the Allies' argument. The current presidential control has set the ceiling on how much the Tea Party can materially affect foreign policy, but empower Congress means uh, the isolationist Tea Party or Winstokes 14. Tea Party sympathizes with the U.S. is doing too much to the world problems. The awareness of activists raised the alignment of the public. The Tea Party supporters say it's more important to Obama focus on domestic issues. Tea Party not set foreign policy. That's the president tomorrow. Go to Butler views you. Have an effect on the U.S. posture. Tea Party views the war shape. Political departure. Tea Party world people are responsible in 2014. This has global implications. Extinction burns 14 American 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 the claim American the claim about um so yeah, the one nerd's gonna read a card about this um, to preempt any sort of like I law type arguments, but they don't solve that either. As per like all the Article Two stuff, it's just a question of whether they cause foreign policy fights. All right. Um, the card is Joiner. Where am I finding this card? Are you guys taking cards? Uh, that's all. Uh, so Obama wants to uh, invade a failed state, to stop terrorists, or he wants to launch a target, uh, a drone strike against someone. Goes to Congress, tells them. Well, first of all, he what? doesn't, as per your arguments. But like, if we're assuming a hypothetical, sure. What, my question is, what incentive does he have then to restrain his operation? Uh, because when he goes to Congress and initiates that consultation, if he pulls a bush and gives bogus reasoning, it becomes exposed as a sham, which embarrasses him publicly. What, what is the, in the status quo, he has an armed conflict justification to do whatever he wants. So there will all be, all, always be reasoning to do whatever the operation is, what focus reasoning would you're, I think they be able to expose about the president in the world of the counterplan? I think you're conflating reasoning and authority. Like, the AOMF still exists after the counterplan. We'll give you that. But the means by which it is enacted are radically different. So then explain the focus reasoning thing you just kind of asserted. Yeah, so right now, if Obama wants to, say, do some stuff in Somalia, all he has to do is just be like, yeah, affiliated with al-Qaeda, I'm on it. In the world of the counterplan, he might be able to make that claim, but before he does it, he still has to go before the committee, give them the evidence, declassify it, and talk it out. And if they're like, <laughs> wow, I think you're pulling another Iraq here, they get to make that public and embarrass him. So the argument him. So is that, the argument is that Congress, evidence. which already knows that Obama is doing all these things in Somalia, and has not said anything now, suddenly will in a way that affects his operations after the counterplan. Well, yes, because they'll be required to be that voice. Okay. So it's like, they, if you have to be the one that gives, you know, advice and say so, and your advice sucks, about then you're going to get a branch conflict cards. A lot of them are about authority that the president has that Congress just takes away. Congress has authorized the AUMF. If, why would it send the same signal if it's taking back an authorization that it already gave a decade later, later just to signal the end of the war? I don't understand the question. All of your evidence assumes that Congress actively asserts itself in an area that's conventionally been the president's authority. Congress, a decade ago, is what gave the AOMF to the president. Why would Congress repealing With congressional legislation this, be seen this, as this, an, this might make sense for like the Yost 89 card, but every other card is in the context of the war on terror. It's not like these constitutional mm -hmm. scholars don't know what the AOMF is. The question is, how do we create a solution that I, doesn't I, I find out repeal everything? The counterplan? In a world of the counterplan, I'm a little confused about some of the solvency explanations you've made. Are we still in a state of a technical armed conflict? Define technical. The AUMF said that we were in an armed conflict. Uh, the AUMF is still on the books. Okay. Uh, the P or the link to the or Obama came out in the Trout card that or the Panda card, I think, that mm -hmm. said that he wants to repeal the AUMF. Eventually. Trout card said he Eventually. wants to repeal that too. And both those cards say that the we opposition is in Congress. Why would Congress? Why would the plan not be seen as congressional cooperation if Obama has already come out and said he wants to the work no, with the notion that The notion it. that Obama wants the AUMF gone this year is false. He says he wants to refine and eventually repeal it. The counterplan makes that impossible, makes you, that you possible no without an abrupt that. reversal. You have zero uh, evidence. One, one second of prep. Is that the right genre card? Mm -hmm. And then you still need me to read that? Yeah. Okay. We're through. It's been emailed. Politics. The counter plan. Can you subtract like four seconds for that banter? What are we down to? It's fine. I don't really. 
Don't yeah, worry. You were left off with 243. All right, I'll say 240. Politics, counterplan, solvency, critique. Can I get an internet injury? Mm -hmm. Hey, grab that business solvency. Um, yeah. Oh, here's your timer. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem, dude. Can I get that order again, Pepper? Politics, some cards on the counter plan, and then solvency, and then the K. Sounds good. Uh, let me download your attachment real quick. Cool. It's just the two first cards in the deck. Okay. Oh, for the two NC cards. I'm sorry. It's in, like <laughs> the, the second card in the pump. Yeah, if you just control left joiner. Okay. Joiner. Does everyone have what they need? Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Concede losses now means the internal link is approved because I can see political capital not key. There's no spell over concede the status quo solves another the core dimension of solves. There's no risk of the uh, uh, impact insurance because we'll also concede that there's no uh, uh, agent crisis now. The counter plan adopting non binding constraints is a middle norm that is capable of actually restraining most instances of preemptive force joint or an internal national use of law. Uh, increase perpetual by the proposal of option or proposed not necessarily grasp the settled basic law regular use of uh, uh, force to be zero for must maintain not as legally binding rules but as politically persuasive. This change would all preserve the uh, integrity of the rest of the law while accomplishing the same result and influencing state to give a proposal or intent is bring the law to the urban national use of force intent in harmony with the other model one. Same people position should be used as a regression but a tactical retreat. The tune impact card is disproven by nuclear testing and says it's the equivalent of a counter force exchange, not a uh, <laughs> nuclear exchange code tonight. So, recipe died as one of one. Our largest cities and many as seven million, but that way there would be no substantial effect leading to be, uh, a loss of civilization and the nation. Now, the solvency page, all of the solvency arguments prove the link to the K and that they are uh, uh, asking the wrong questions of who's the alternative solves the case and that our reorientation of the war apparatus is a prerequisite to uh, uh, them solving the question that they have outlined of the war paradigm raised the question of why the war paradigm exists in the first place. Bin Laden was radicalized by Basin, uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, not by uh, uh, the things like the AUMF, which was they, they are incapable of solving the problem of terrorism and radicalization is inevitable absent uh, uh, the alternative, which means it's trying for the negative legal restraints merely paper over more complex solutions which are quite required to solve the Barnes evidence and I guess the uh, uh, self defense ship merely, merely means Obama merely would claim other source of authority in uh, the win in the world of the plan which the alternative is the only thing capable of solving a decrease the logic of preemptive force or link argument raised the question of why the law uh, uh, resulted in things like the AUMF in the first place why the political system found it justified to create a permanent war footing the uh, uh, political interrogation of the alternative is one that uh, uh, ends the cycle of overreaction as a prerequisite to accessing the entirety of the case now uh, uh, the critique page they have dropped a complexity case it's game over the ghost evidence and I guess that linear decision making is impossible it is not impossible to understand cause and a, a, a fact that applies both to the law and the international relations it's an epistemological indict of the uh, uh, one is to vote negative on presumption extend the alternative the one is to ghost evidence says that looking beyond legal fixes is key to understand how war powers operate without false objectivity of a detached bureaucrat it's not a, a total rejection of a law but it requires scrutiny of the analytical frames used to compel legal uh, uh, action restrictions guided by threat management always sweep the epistemic baggage under the rug and ignore unintended consequences their solvency arguments assume a world of binary decision switches that uh, uh, can be calibrated to minimize yeah. risk when reality Reality the issue is a, a, a confluence of factors that can't be observed in totality, which is why paying attention to those narratives and the broader agenda behind them results in better decision making. Second, is they result in a false choice. Our evidence gives the uh, example of obviating restrictions by manipulating even info given to Congress before the Iraq War, which also applies to the AUMF. The menu uh, of options they give you is anal analogous by ignoring that uh, uh, there are always alternatives like the embargo, diplomatic assistance, or seeking more intel. But their tunnel vision will always bracket those out. Two EC one is uh, the two EC one is the framework. Uh, uh, two EC one is the framework page. Our role of the ballot is to uh, uh, use the one EC as a means of democratic scrutiny there's no link the alternative is policy relevant we that may not be a silver bullet but we have reasons the plan is bad in comparative evidence on how to frame policy discussions that worse is not a voting issue it just means you treat the alternative as a counter plan second is judge choice creates a race to the bottom and moots education about how to position yourself as a decision maker voting negative key to a, a critical vocabulary that politicizes these choices and builds public scrutiny three this legit rf is highly specific and engages a, a, a core issue their faith in legalist methods brackets out important questions and causes a, a cause a form of policy failure their next piece of evidence about neoliberalism is only about resource wars it's from 2009
2002 and is horribly uh, uh, generic Santa says it's collapsing on the status quo which means we uh, uh, control uniqueness that results in wars broader environmental destruction inequality etc which is this triad for the negative and they have no impact even so those external scenarios our investigation solves the root cause of war via colonial ideology carting and six wars become a, a, a permanent social relation while global civil war becomes bodies the normal negates the social means remain disembodied for those who organize the bodies those who do dismantle global minds of humanization and a natural state that's making up their lives radicalize a, a, a process rooted within colonialism and a, a reams guards the notion of violence that helps cultivate structural violence the war in turn plays middle of every just wars by putting outside the wrong critique violence is normal as they get out of the post or just technical bodies like from the which I thought of global wars the storm of genetics versus on the uh, uh, north of the geosphere is position and global uh, uh, restructuring knowledge production becomes compl complicit in the production of perpetual war after a lot of the linear flow of western history and challenges social reality as given marks it given the structural violence that weighs hitching science the extent our uh, understanding of what is on economic social justice have been a part of this the opposite of neoliberal structural violence gets more than war a uh, uh, formative and because was explained a giant jersey then there's a uh, 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 wealth in the world that's necessary to just economic violence the real promise priority structural violence is neither national nor inevitable the next argument assumes economic substitution and transition wars which there's no uh, uh, uniqueness for collapses in a rule now the plans neoliberal policy is wars waller scene 11. The basic cost of production arises from our personal expense of democratization, the demands for all provision, and uh, income to meet these demands. Over the same increase in taxation, and the point the price capital accumulation out of fluctuation have been controlled by policy. Don't be inside. It's our short return from climate pandemics. Similarly, the long-term this process cannot continue. The uh, uh, financial crisis and bring down the system and expose we develop our economies as simply accentuate uh, 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 structural crisis. Our alternative is an, an immediate cascade of neoliberalism, which is what their uh, uh, link argument is about. Now the permutation, our links are dissed to including the plan. Even if they win the perm, you can still vote negative because our turns case arguments prove that inaction is preferable. Severance, our alternative rejects their legal tunnel vision. It's a voting issue because it uh, uh, jacks negative grounds and holistic clash the plan isn't the only thing we're seeking so it calls uh, uh, can't be the only grounds for competition three is the k calls for a different role of you as a judge you should refuse the position of an omnipotent bureaucrat before considering uh, uh, the plan for as they have prefigured the discussion on neoliberal terms without contesting that framing alternatives are a uh, powerless and a power a uh, uh, listening capable of solving that's not until for critical scholars they realize that we not lose regarding the uh, arguments on the victory for close consideration of systemic case any particular violation choosing to intervention in liberal legal terms is fine with the rest of exploitation or global victories can do a legitimate uh, uh, making it very difficult to argue with some discarding critical tools <coughs> And a structural critique at the very moment they're sure to uh, uh, publicize their position, although they embrace always strategic, the kind of flow is a call for intervention in legalist terms to understand strategy takes certainty. So, uh, uh, always struggle with coordinates of existing order, just as strategic essentialism collapses into essentialism, so too does liberal, uh, uh, so too does legal liberalism. The next card they have read is by Lubin, and it's about Schmidt's understanding of a legal amnesty, which does not apply to a particular uh, uh, scenario. The one in the evidence, and I guess that the way they have conceptualized the law merely reshuffles the decks and results in uh, uh, flawed policies that are not capable of solving. They do think, uh, for example, they do nothing about the 2001 Iraq AUMF, which is a uh, uh, justification for a continued war in Iraq, which uh, justifies unending uh, uh, structural violence. Their model of rational policy analysis is one that is rigged to prefer f threats and dodge critical scrutiny, which proves a prior act for the Alt-Glennon in 1446 federal defense from uh, Intel war reporting in 20,000 prior support. They saw a total annual uh, run uh, uh, one trillion true minutes of all rational state period, all costs responsible, never extend creative and natural creative, and never naive their objects being options on their merits remain to have the case of mind defines reality as multi guiltless in Iraq is a symptom of uh, incentives as worse retain professional credibility. Marked at credibility. 649, I think. Cool.
need some cards. Maybe just send out the one AR cards. So after I game on them, I can start. Is everyone ready to go? Solid seat, repeat, counterplay. Yes. Rock and roll. Not enough explanation of circumvention. They've seen the stress and the evidence of the one see that says soft constraints like public pressure and diplomat. If pressure would mean that the president would force be forced to comply with the plan. The evidence that we read in the choice, he said that it would only would lead to a limited shift, which means there is a circumvention, but there's no impact to it because it shifts to law enforcement, which is good. Now, he was starting to make some uh, floating pick esque arguments that we interrogate the case, but you should allow that because it seals the entirety of the act. It means that there will be no debatability to go to the critique. The complexity carries a pure assertion. The card only says that linear. Rationality comes from a Western perspective. It doesn't make any arguments about complexity. The Jeopardy is proven by things like history and cooperation, which is empirically verifiable, which means you should prefer our impact framework uh, only when solving things to try to affect institutions that have relevant ways to understand. They need to explain how the alternative would change into notions only. The affirmative is a strategy that can work. Now, things are not collapsing now. Our impact defense evidence indicates that things are sustainable. The neoliberalism is self correcting and able to be uh, able to survive. Uh, able to survive. This is also proven by the fact that environmental factors and quality of life are getting better due to neoliberal fixes law for ten and every developed country air is more breathable, water is more drinkable than the rest of the world but through forestation sort of reforestation mountain nutrients will be reduced and more people have access to clean water. Global environment conditions were approved data showed that key environmentalists were getting better now. They had good pages and impact turns so all of this K and they are not doing any actual substantive work. Hegemony leads to cooperation that solves the, uh, solves global transnational issues and more to collapse or be power vacuum signature wars. Root cause arguments are lazy and false. You should prefer approximate analysis that explains things through institutional power. Now, the alternative is massive violence. There is very little alternative explanation in the time pressure of one in which means you should presume that it's not able to solve because neoliberalism is a massive system of social relations larger than the plan, and uh, you should extend the 2HCDA. Then it leads to violence because the transition is inherently unstable. The permutation doesn't sever. It's part of the uh, ending the war in Al Qaeda is part of a shift towards positive peace and uh, you know, move against neoliberalism to be able to solve. Now, the collapse now debate. First off, war triggers it by causing more structural violence to begin the system go out in one big boom. That's gold scene. One, if you want these work for justice, right? Something subject that injustice causes what the evidence success causes out and strong strongly the other way. War is not a product of capitalism, imperialism, gender, and integration and single cause. Rather, war is the same these and other injustices. If you want justice, work for peace, changes in attitudes towards war, the military may be the most important way to reverse oppression. Now, also, the still solve, we would still be able to solve all of our 1AC impacts, even if neoliberalism collapses, especially terrorism, which causes extinction because it prompts a nuclear, a, a nuclear reaction from other powers. Uh, counterplan. In cross -X, he says that the counterplan maintains the U.S. in a legal state of war, that we would still be in a technical armed conflict. This is a major solvency deficit for at least three distinct reasons. The first is DOD focus. They've conceded our bizarre evidence as long as we are in a state of war. We always uh, will defer towards making the decisions in the DOD instead of law enforcement agencies like the FBI or the DOJ, which dedicates, which forces us to redirect away from alliances and spend more time managing minor failed state interventions and cultivating relationships with great powers. It warps U.S. grand strategy and makes effective deployment of leadership impossible because of a technical, legal uh, declaration of war. That's our credible evidence. Next is the David versus Goliath. War gives undeserved legitimacy to terrorists by saying 
allowing them to perpetuate a narrative that Al-Qaeda tells its members that the U.S. is engaging in a war on Islam and that they are overreacting by initiating an armed conflict against a small decentralized group. Only the plan shifts away from this overreaction by moving to a law enforcement paradigm which destabilizes the narrative of Al-Qaeda and their ability to get recruitment. It also unites groups by causing blowback and lets them all think that they are the objects of the AUMF when in reality the law enforcement approach would prevent that. Now the plan is a signal of congressional cooperation. Uh, Ellis is not very good on our pan evidence adjudicates. Obama has an interest in ending the AUMF and has publicly declared that he wants to get rid of it. Now his only argument is that Obama said the words eventually, but why would Obama want the AUMF after 2014? All of the wars that we were engaged in related to it are over. The Afghanistan conflict would have ended, so there's no reason that he would fight the plan. We've read two pieces of evidence that says he has an interest in ending the AUMF and has publicly declared it, which means interbranch conflict theoretically doesn't apply. Their law review articles from 18, from the 80s don't make any arguments about why Obama would have an interest in fighting the specific content of the plan, which we have addressed. There's, all, there's also a delay solvency deficit from the other counter plan cross supply that we need to do the plan immediately. The counter plan text says effective December, uh, effective December 31st, 2014, referring to the should action of creating the committee, which means it doesn't happen soon enough. They've also dropped the future pres argument that they would be able to expand the AUMF in ways that we can't predict now, which means that it needs to be legally taken off the books. Congress would not be revitalized by the action of the counter plan. They would just approve anything. And even if they didn't, nobody would care if the president blows off Congress. Our chest, the evidence makes a key distinction and says that the public and diplomats think that the president is allowed to do anything as long as we're in a legal state of war. So public scrutiny and the president being scrutinized if he gives bullshit reasoning only happens if we end the war because then people president public to the declarations test. Don't solve this trial. Public declarations don't solve that's our trial evidence. They are uh, enough because they're not binding and only the plan sends a signal that the U.S. is doing more than tinkering with the AUMF and getting rid of it. The permutation would solve the benefit because it uses consultation as a lead up to the binding action of the plan which gives some legitimacy to the process. Now the uh, Tea Party argument doesn't make any sense. First the plan twiddly the cord. Second you link as well by empowering a congressional consultation mechanism. And third there's no spillover between our plan and all Tea Party actions. The final argument that they made, the joiner card is the counter plan is a middle ground approach. This card is about applying international law to counter proliferation policies. It's totally irrelevant to the content of congressional consultation. Don't evaluate it.
Um, so there might be a single to an R card, so I'll just put that directly into, this, into the uh, email thread. Okay. Solvency K counterplay. They're trying to work with these circumvention arguments is exactly why the counterplane is sufficient. We'll concede the soft constraints can be enough and that there's no impact to minor circumvention proves that the impact to any solvency deficit, even if the A or is still in the book, is infinitesimally uh, small because the president isn't going to abuse it and he's not going to uh, try to uh, backdoor some sort of permanent state of work exception, which is what all of their impact authors are talking about. I'm going to extend sort of the broader author framing thing that even though uh, a couple of their authors have a lot of strong rhetoric about the need to get this off the books, they are alone in the legal community because it would be a dramatic reversal as opposed to Obama's idea that he wants to revise and gradually phase out the AUMF, the counterplan puts us on that path, but the plan uh, suddenly wakes up and no longer has any authority to do things whatsoever, which creates a fundamental crisis in government that is unprecedented since 9 11. The critique we are obviously not going for, we're not going to go for any neolib type impacts. The alternative was uh, conditional, there's no floating pick. Now the counterplan at the top, I'm there. The two air is going to sound great on this on the books distinction, but it's a spurious one. The best analogy to use here is that the AUMF is like a ferocious Rottweiler or something that's terrorizing the international community. The combination of planks and the counterplan simultaneously neuters and declaws that Rottweiler, whereas the app euthanizes it. Allied partners and law enforcement agencies aren't concerned because they hate dogs. They're afraid because they're going to get bid, which the counterplan claim really resolves euthanization. That creates a household crisis and discord if you really take the analogy that far. Don't let them bring back the net benefit debate. The only answer they had was that Obama wants a UMF repeal, but they have no answer to the Wolfgang evidence from 2014 that, yeah, Obama says this uh, to appeal to his base, but what he really wants is to refine and make incremental improvements to it so that we're not on the Bush era footing. The counterplan uh, does that more than enough, whereas the plan takes away all authority and creates an unprecedented crisis in government that leads to fights between the president and the Congress. They've conceded that it's try or die negative because CIA disputes put uh, Congress and the executive on a collision course. Only the counterplan institutionalizes a state a framework for congressional involvement that still preserves the core war powers of uh, the president. That is key to overall foreign policy coherence. It's more than just a leadership argument. It's the claim that we cannot execute anything or work with our allies if uh, two different branches of the government have fundamentally different ideas. Only the counterplan aligns those uh, things, which means a try or die negative. They also conceded the tune evidence from case, which means terrorism is no longer a solvency deficit because honestly, who cares if al-Qaeda gets one nukes? We're going to be fine, but if there's no broader foreign policy coherence, then it simultaneously turns and magnifies the impact to all of their impact scenarios. Now, a uh, group that a uh, group the status debate first is that we never declared war. They're making up an argument here. It's an authorization for the use of force. We changed the nature of what that authorization entails. Uh, the AUMF says that you can go after people in Al-Qaeda, and the counterplan uh, says that be that as it may, before you even lift a finger, you have to go to a specific committee on Congress that has to vet your intelligence and debate it out. Those check the president and do so publicly because they don't want to be the ones responsible for greenlighting the next Iraq. That is a better way of creating public engagement than just ripping law out of the books. The arcane evidence is a straight turn from this from 2014 from people in Congress saying that this is the only way to get us back in a sustainable cooperative form of foreign policy. This is crucial because it link turns all of their arguments about interagency squabbling. The impact uh, that they write in that Mazar card is about the system being fragmented and about a focus on endless war. Not an obscure section of U.S. Uh, code gut check here. What we do with it is what matters. The public doesn't even know what the AUMF stands for. I know this for a fact because I didn't and I'm a lot smarter than most people in the general public, but the counterplan creates an institutionalized mechanism that improves overall decision making. They've conceded a wreck of cards like Atwood and Yost and Griffith. The only card that's uh, old like they're talking about is Yost, but the Griffith evidence is from 2013 talking about the history of the AUMF and reading comparative evidence. We are the only ones with that type of card power here. The only thing that they uh, have, uh, the only thing that they have are uh, snippets of stuff like Obama speeches, which are Wolfgang evidence answers. Now the Panda evidence, we will concede that the wars and stuff in Afghanistan will be over by the end of the 
here, if it looks like there's no longer a war and it smells like there's no longer a war, then there's probably not a war anymore. The only question is whether we suddenly revoke the authority, which is uh, the key variable here, because that's what triggers the interagency uh, fights and uh, fights and whatnot. That means uh, circumvention and defiance are more likely because Obama still has that Article 2 power. Whether you vote after neck, he can still really invade people if he really, really wants to. The question is, what incentives does he have, which only our Baker and Hamilton and Howell cards uh, speak to? Prior authorizations only freak out our allies and cause a signal that uh, we don't know what to do with our foreign policy. That's our Spiro card. They barely get to the Tea Party section with enough time, but these cards are recent and fantastic. They indicate that giving the power back to Congress to veto our foreign policy uh, decisions just means that we empower the Tea Party radicals that uh, do stuff like strip the military budget entirely and overcorrect for what the app is trying to do so that we don't even have a foreign policy anymore because they want to dig a goddamn moat around the United States. Now, they're uh, claiming that the evidence is too old. Cross why all this stuff I explained above. They said some delay argument. This is uh, pretty shady. We, uh, the time frame and the counter plan and the plan at the same time. The cross applications I made for time frame competition bad on the other flow should be sufficient. They've also conceded all the substantive reasons why the permutation uh, fails. They've conceded that it creates an absurd result because it functionally says Congress has the role of an advisory partner. Just kidding. Congress has uh, no role whatsoever because we're taking away the authority. It obviates the need for the counter plan. It creates legal confusion, which our Howell evidence and our Baker and Hamilton evidence impacts. It creates fights between the executive and Congress and discord about what the exact nature of uh, the president's role in the United States is. That also applies to future presidents because the committee itself is permanent. Uh, so uh, they can't make any arguments about rollback that wouldn't link uh, to the plan. The Chesney evidence about diplomats and publics is all explained above about the uh, dialogue and engagement arguments. The public declaration solvency deficit doesn't assume the combination of the plan and the counterplan. All their cards about stuff like concurrent resolutions and announcements might be true in the abstract, but it doesn't assume an institutionalized mechanism for that which the counterplan is coupled with an announcement from Obama about what he's going to uh, do with it. If that's not uh, sufficient to solve, then the app probably isn't either. Now, uh, the next argument is uh, some stuff about how the app could be the court. That's obviously an illegitimate clarification. Don't let them uh, make that argument. They uh, said throughout the debate that the app is Congress and uh, whatever they're trying to do with it would still uh, probably link to it anyway. Their crime or evidence definitely goes negative. I read a card in the UNC uh, that said that binding legislative action as opposed to a signal on it just uh, means that there's confusion and causes a backlash from the state. They've also uh, barely touched our joiner evidence, which is fantastic on this. It is about I law, but it says that legalistic solutions no longer make sense because the nature of 21st threats means that uh, you can't have a permanent uh, straight up uh, revocation. That means countries that have legitimate security interests, i.e., something like counter approval of just backlash against I law, only the counter plan creates a middle ground, which means we have a straight turn all of the terminal impacts to the app. Uh, what's the time? Three o'clock. Okay. Still want me to get it. You got everything else?
says more about you than it says about other countries. Our travel evidence indicates that the AUMF is the determinant of other countries that knowing whether or not the United States is technically in our war. It says that no has measures to resolve that. Now, they, they have conceded the court evidence and the Chesney evidence indicates that the uh, counter plan will get circumvented, but not the plan because only the war determines whether or not other countries simply stand up. Now, the Samuelson card that they read is totally irrelevant. It's about a dispute between one senator and the CIA, which is an executive agency, not a president. That's the uniqueness card they read. You know, that benefit. They didn't see the trap card and the panda card that says that Obama has initiated action with Congress and it would not be perceived as constrained because it would be a sunset of effective in Nexus uh, at the end of December. So it would not be an immediate repeal, but something that takes uh, over Skip time. to that bottom card. Or that bottom card. The evidence flows out in the unknown unfortunate it says that the Biden legislation actions to invoke the War Powers Resolution would trigger it. They have analogized their own capital plan to the War Powers Resolution, which proves it does not make any sense. The Joyner argument makes even less sense. It's about international law and says that counter proposed measures do that. You have to draw a clear explanation from the plan to that. Now, the Tea Party argument does not make sense. They have conceded John's push that they have no explanation of how the plan would over revive the entirety of the Tea Party, especially since they're being marginalized by the GOP in the status quo. The plan is also not in the direction. Of the Tea Party because Obama has called for it, so Obama will get credit for it, and he'd be working conjunctively with Congress. Good debate. 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 Oh! I only did that because you whipped me. Sir, are you good with the? Yeah, I'm sorry to do that person. Yeah, you good. Yeah, I just sent out an organized talk. Let me know if I can find it. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, I'll just.